Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers, to another episode from Villagecraft. Well, we're doing redstone, as you can tell. But the thing is that we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do all the redstone for this minigame in one shot. So I already came in here to try to do the decorating because, I mean, it doesn't need to be much. This is simple enough. I didn't think it was that engaging. But I did know that I wanted over here to be where it all started up. So I did a look, I did do some prep work. It all, it's all still in one take, but I did do some prep work. So I want this to be where it starts. And I need these. I want him to have a nose. And that's how I wanted to start because it's like, it's cute. You know, boop, nose to start. It's just cute. Redstone can be functional and adorable, okay? No, no need to judge, no need to be biased. It can be cute and adorable. So, let's do something like this, and let's break that out just to make it a little easier on ourselves. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's get some of these hoppers going. So, we need one here and here. And we need to change this one to point this way. And we're making a version of an Etho hopper clock. It's not the traditional version of an Etho hopper clock, but it's similar. The difference is, is that this one is not a sticky piston. So this is only actually a timer. It's not a clock. Now for this timer to be as long as I want it to be, we're going to have, we're going to have, I said, there we go one there and then we're going to pop another redstone dust here that's arena off of this so if this has items or this block is over here we're going to have an output by making it into an and gate pop this up here invert that signal and we're going to have a string of hoppers to form a clock for the game this is what's going to pulse out the items and make it so it just continues to loop and if this runs out which it will in a little bit um it's going to basically stop the game so it should be any moment now so that turn back on this item will spin around and it will get caught so let's go over here there one two three pop repeater here i said here and here one there and here why is this one here that's where that one should be. There we go. I know some stuff. Pop that to two ticks, put one of these here, and then we need our sticky pistons again. And this has a shovel and a cobblestone, so if it's a cobblestone, only one lights up, goes right on through. If it's a shovel, both light up, this pushes this out of the way before this can get through, and this has a signal go off, which that signal goes to here. Another one of these, let's not make that mistake. We need to read this hopper some way, somehow. There we go. And there we go. Here, there, here. Two ticks. One going directly in, there's that. And we can now hook this one up there. So half of this is already taken care of. Not too shabby, right? And then over here, doop doop. I said doop doop. Over here, there, there, two ticks. And let's bring this one right on over. And same with the other. This one though, I mean, that that's fine. So we have this. Yes, I did all the math to find out how much of every resource we would need. Oh, I got very scared from him. This is our tester circuit, so that way we don't have to run upstairs to check if it works. And if this is working, we should be able to come up here and see some apples. There we go. I am very excited about this, but I think I'm going to, as you can tell, I have some spots, ideas for where the armor stands will go. I'm going to set those up. And I'll show you guys the book for the rules. I wrote that a little earlier. But yeah, here we go. I'm very happy. I'll catch you guys back here in a bit. Welcome back. So we had 25 apples drop, which is total of... Actually, I'll show you in a moment. I almost, almost spoiled the rule book. 
So, the uh, rules. Welcome to Bottom of Apples, a wonderful fall time game that could be played any time of the year. To start, you need two teams of two. One will be out of the water and with Frostwalker boots. The other one will be bob water in the water bobbing for four, four apples. Uh, darn you, book, you cut it off. Rules. The rules are simple. You play this game empty handed, and whoever has the most points wins. You are allowed to punch your opponent if you wish, both in and out of the water. The Frostwalker boots are to cut off your opponent and give your teammate the edge. Points. Points are simple. Gold apples are worth two. Regular apples are worth one. So right here we have 35 points to reset. To reset for another round, just go down the ladder and place a stack of four gold apples in each dropper of the on the roof, and then three stacks of four regular apples in each dropper as well. Happy bobbing! So nice, fun little mini game. Let's head on down to kind of show you what exactly I am blathering about. The reason I say on the roof is that way the you're going to these, they're not going to these droppers thinking that they have to do anything with those. Um, and yeah, so... That actually had an even split. Actually, no it didn't. Four in each, there we go. So, that's all it is. Ooh. I'm kind of shocked, because like, what this does is makes it so, in a dropper, it weighs every slot that has items in it equally. So, it has just, it has a 1 in 4 chance of grabbing apples, so the fact that this one ran out of apples is kind of shocking. But, we have that taken care of. Actually, I did just have a thought. I have my little chest over here. Yeah, I can leave the rest of that. It's fine. Um, we do need something, and that something is a block. Because I was thinking, as you're going around, like, it would stink to fall down the chute and like you press space bar because you're like worried of what's happening then you fly and you go all the way to the bottom like, that stinks over here oh that that's not a big difference but we have another project to do you probably saw it by the title and the thumbnail um uh, let's go to the nether and do some work all right guys we're working on the nether hub and as you can tell i mean it's a little weird the reason being well This is the nether hub. Downstairs is, uh, it's just so messy. It's right, right above the ground. And I figured let's get some space. And I thought these little, um, these little pipes could be a cool little addition. So I figured why not? And you might be, ah, uh, there's always gotta be bedrock. You might be wondering what this might supposed to be. And it's Mario themed. It's okay. Go insane. Make all the comments. It's it's the best idea. Could not be a better one. Frankly, I am I'm really excited for this. So we're doing Mario themes with I've made two pipes already. Just to get the idea down of what I want this to kind of look like. So something like that. Because it's it's a little complicated, because they are straight for a point, and then they begin to bend a little bit, so. It's like this, and then this goes down. down. Just, just a little easier. There, here, there. Same with the other side. There. And there's a pipe going up to the wall for this, just simply. Am I out? I am out. Wow. All right. And you guys thought when I built the turtle that I made too much concrete. You can use live concrete. I'll find a way. I'm stubborn. But. Alright. Two and three. And one, two and three. And this will be kind of where it all goes straight down through the thing. I think that looks good. So let's go like that. And this will be our little drop shaft uh, for where it launches the person up from. So let's bring this right on down. This one doesn't need to go down as far. I mean, obviously you need a way out, so that's probably good. that 
let's get our furnaces just to make it so well we can put in slime launchers slime launchers are important nothing more fun than a slime launcher but I'm gonna come back when I get to, I guess the really quick redstone. I wanna show you guys at least what it is in case you guys aren't familiar with slime launchers, but I'll be right back. Oops. Alrighty, so basically for a slime launcher, you need a sticky piston. Uh, it has to be a sticky piston or else the blocks won't return back to you. Repeater, I set it to full delay because we are using a button and it's just a little, actually. Yes. I remember when buttons weren't able to be like rotated on the ground. It always had to be facing like east, west, I think it was. Might have been north, south, but no matter what, you could not rotate one. So I'm really glad they're rotatable now. Um, yep, let's launch it. I think I hit the ceiling too fast. You gotta kind of be, you gotta be ready with this thing. I might have to lower that down by an extra block. I don't know. But let's make this pretty by, first of all, come back to me, Green Shulker. But also, I love the fact, just, you see this? You see this weird shape? Really quick. Now it's a Mario pipe. And I don't know why it's so quick and effective, but it is. I think it's a great Mario pipe, and I'm really excited. But I'm going to go make this uh, last and final one right here off camera, and then we'll be back to burn some good old die, right? Okay? Okay. Alrighty guys, welcome back. We have a center pipe. We have all the pipes in. Let's travel on up. Oh, I have slabs here. They're gonna be carpet. I just don't have the wool right now and I don't know what happened to all the sheep. Um, but as you can see, there's some signs. Let's go read some signs because and there's also weird blocks. This is to make divisions because over here is going to be a desert world. This is Mario. Specifically, New Super Mario World. So world two was the desert world over here will be a desert theme world secret world four was forest world that'll be over here i didn't mark this one let's find out what that one will be uh mountain world is number five or is it seven it might be seven islands world is number three i know that much uh frozen world is number seven nether world as i'm gonna call it is number eight that's fiery destruction stuffs and Plains World is number one. So that means over here is number seven, Sky World. Yeah, I, I like the Mario game a lot. Um, so Sky World. All these will be themed like these, and these extra blocks here are just for the division, so it, everything stays where it is. The corners are all gonna have pipes as well. Um, I think this is gonna be a good theme for the Nether Hub, and I think that we'll be able to do things with the roofs. I am thinking though, I want the walls a little clear. I want to do like pixely art stuff like of a Mario game on the world, but oh, I should explain why is everything like it is. Uh, to the south is the jungle biome, so that's why it's forest. The mining desert is over there, so desert. Then over here is to big guy's old mesa, big guy you are missed, so I thought mountain fit. Um, this is to the ocean monument, so islands world. Um, Gen LP's uh, forest biome was this way, so that's why it's plains. Um, obviously, we actually, because hmm. Pat's and Vex's base is kind of that way. They, they didn't really have a theme that kind of meshed well, but um, I went with fire and uh, frozen over here because I think this line is going to be very interesting where it's like nethery, evil, awful stuff packed ice like what is this gonna look like i'm very excited and i hope you guys are too this was a good episode this was a packed episode i hope you guys have enjoyed like comment subscribe down below all that jazz i will catch you guys back here sometime soon with the next one goodbye oh and uh before i forget fortunately uh fire ticks off so i can't burn the uh birch down but i ain't gonna leave you don't worry.